the roster needed some new players because several seniors from last year were either drafted or graduated. The team has filled the vacancies. Several freshmen who are going to factor in this year for us. Uh, quite a few will factor in on the mound for us and um, because we, we do we have a lot of voids to fill right there and so we're excited about even though they're youthful um, they're talented and uh, so we're excited about moving forward with them. The team may have lost some leadership and experience but the remaining players are looking forward to this season. Yeah we have, we have some freshmen who have really um, stepped into stepped into it this year and they're they're not acting like freshmen so that's that's good for us good for the school good for the team so we're excited about it bobcat baseball started friday february 17th and the players and the coaches have been practicing really hard for the upcoming season come to the games it's fun it's a great experience it is you need to come out and watch these guys they're tough kids and they've they uh they work hard at it they're fun they're uh they're exciting i think the, the along with the student base and and our, our season ticket holders, it's a great place to be, and certainly I would encourage everybody to come out. Texas State faces the Baylor Bears at Bobcat Ballpark tonight at 6 o'clock. For Bobcat Update, I'm Morgan Burrell. San Marcos hosted its 25th annual Swing on the Square Festival this weekend to honor Western Swing music and the pioneers who helped create it. I think the Swing on the Square event and the Brew Hop is a perfect experience to showcase what downtown San Marcos is all about. Swing on the Square offers live music and some unique events like Brew Hop Craft Beer Tour and the Texas Swing Hall of Fame Show. We had the Texas Western Swing Hall of Fame Show where we induct people into the Hall of Fame and we have music that night. We pair craft brew with food and entertainment along the way. So it, it really is a, a good sampling of breweries that we have right here in Central Texas. Some of them are made two blocks away. San Antonio Street was closed to make room for a stage and dancing. Western Swing, it's happy and makes you want to get into it and just a jumping style of music. Swing on the Square features a farmer's market and a gospel brunch. Art was also for sale and there were activities for all ages. The event started in Austin in 1987, but after five years, its organizers decided to relocate to San Marcos, where it has been held ever since. For the 25th annual Swing on the Square event in San Marcos, Texas, I'm Adam Carino for Bobcat Update. It was just a mindset of trying to uh, establish the culture that we know that works and uh, try to get the players in the program that uh, want to follow that culture. One goal is to, you know, obviously try to win every game you play. Uh, and, that, you know, we want to be successful in our conference and compete and, uh, uh, you know, try to end up uh, with a record that, you know, gets us an opportunity to play in bowl games and uh, maybe one day here shortly get an opportunity to, to, uh, to, to maybe win a Sun Belt Championship. Starting from ground up, and that's kind of where we are right now. We're kind of at the bottom, trying to build it from the bottom up. 